Hello, so today we are doing um, the contest, weekly contest 169, and the second problem, which is um, all elements in two binary search, in uh, two binary search trees, basically. Um, it's problem 1305, and the problem says, given two binary search trees, root 1 and root 2, when I return a list containing all the integers from both trees sorted in ascending order. So basically, if we have two trees like these ones, um, we want to return like a, a merge of the numbers in the two th that is sorted. And so, for example, here we have this tree and this one. This tree gives us is two one four. This one is one zero three. Merging them in a sorted order would be zero, one, um, one, and then two, three, four, which is what we get here. And so you get you get the idea. So this is the the um, the problem. And if you look at the constraint here, we can see that the trees are not very big. Each tree has at most five thousand nodes, and the node values are in this range here. So even these two trees can be at most um, ten thousand nodes, right? And so from this we can deduce that okay, um, it's the trees. The number of nodes is not very big. So we can just do in order traversal. Um, you can look that up, but in order traversal for a binary search tree um, gives us um, a sorted array essentially. And so if we do in order traversal for both trees, we will get a sorted array representing the first tree and the so an assorted array representing the second tree. And after that, we can either merge the two, like using a normal like a, the merge sort, for example, has the second step that does the merging of two sorted arrays, right? Has a, a method that does that, so we can do that. The other option is we can just get them with any any traversal. It can be in order, it can be post order, it doesn't matter. And then we can just merge that, add the two together, the two lists, and then sort them uh, at the end. We don't need to worry about the time complexity. Like if it's uh, that will that will get a time limited exceeded um, exception there because um, the number of nodes is not very big. And so that's what I'll do now. Now I'll do traversal for both and then just add the two lists together and sort them. Um, so let's do that. <coughs> so to do that, um, the in order traversal here, we can just have traverse for. Uh, for um, node, right? So just a helper function here, um, and then so if the node is empty, so we don't have anything anymore, we can just return an empty list. Otherwise, we can just so it's just normal um, in order traversal here. So traverse the node that I left, so that we can get the left portion first, and then get the node that val, and then get the traverse for the right side of the tree. So here I did an in order traversal, meaning that um, each tree that I call with this traverse method, I will get a sorted array. I don't have to. Um, I could do like a, a pre order traversal. So as added here, uh, because uh, because I will be sort sorting at the end anyway. But uh, yeah, I we can just do it this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, and so once I have that helper function, I can just get the array for the first tree and get it for the second tree, add the two together, two lists together, and then sort them, right? And just return that, pretty much. And so if I run this, <coughs> so it's, it looks good, submit. Okay, so that passes. Um, yeah, so very straightforward solution. And in terms of time complexity, we traverse the tree uh, once. So it's like if n is the number of nodes, um, it will be of um, it will be of uh, log n uh, twice. But then we have the sorting that takes over log n. So it's over log n time complexity. In terms of space, we are just using the stack here for the recursion. Um, that will take all of log n, um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. 
Um, okay, so another way we can solve this is using the, what I mentioned earlier, the merge step of the merge uh, function of merge sort, right? So using this function here, uh, using this function here, since we are doing in order traversal, we get the left node, which is the smaller node first, and then the root, which is just the value next to it, and the right side, which is which are the bigger values. So what we get is sorted always because we are doing in order traversal for a binary search tree, and by definition that gives us a sorted array. And so instead of sorting again, we know we have we will have this way here. We will have two arrays that are sorted, right? So instead we could just merge them such that we keep the sorting order, right? So we could do, that will basically get it down from O of n log n to O of n, right? So we could merge them, the two sorted arrays instead, and return that. And so now we need to define the merge function when we have two arrays, right? And so the, the way we can do this is, so I'm just going to define two things, um, which are the lengths of both arrays. And we need two pointers. So merging basically means we will keep traversing both arrays at the same time. And while traversing, we will look is um, is the value at in the first array smaller than the value at the, uh, in the the other array? Whichever one is smaller, we add it to the result um, until uh, until either we an, uh, until either we are done with both arrays or one array is done and the other one has still some values left so we add those or the same the reverse thing like the other array is done and the the the, the other one still has values and so we add those so essentially just the merge step of merge sort and so we do a result here and we would have so these are just the pointers to the values in the first array and the second array and then we have a final result like this and so now we will say, okay, while um, we still have some elements in both arrays that we haven't added to the result yet, we will continue and then we'll return result here. And so what we will do here, we will check. So either the, either the first array, the second array is done so we're done traversing the second array in that case we'll just add whatever is left in the first array and so to check if the second array is done we'll check that the l it's equal to the length of the uh, it's equal to its length which means it's done or uh, it's not done but there are still elements left in this one and the value in the this first array is smaller or equal to the values in the second array which here means that <coughs> that this value here in the first array is smaller and so we can just add it right and so we add it. Uh, so we add it to the result which is append right now otherwise that means either um, we are here and the this value here is smaller um, or um, so basically, either this is not true or this is, either both are not true, right? So both are not true, which means this value here is smaller. And it means that this value here is, sorry, uh, the, the, the second array is not done yet. We are not done traversing it yet. And that means also that the first array, the second array value is smaller because this is not, this is not true. And so that means we can add the value of the second array, right? And so we will add that here. And that's pretty much it. So when this is not no longer true, which means the array one is done, um, then we'll just go to the else and we'll find that this one is not done yet and we'll keep adding its elements, right? Um, and that's pretty much, we will just need to increase the pointers though so that we can go to the next step in the array. And we need to do that here. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that looks good. I'll submit. Okay, so that passes. Um, so one thing you hear in terms of time complexity is that this one is just O of N1 plus N2, the length of the two array, right? Because that's, we are just doing one loop that 
um, that goes on until we traverse both arrays. And that's just the length of each, uh, the number of nodes of each tree, right? And so it's a lot better than the overlag end that we had before. And this one still has the same time complexity that we mentioned, and, and space complexity that we mentioned earlier. This merge step here adds an open space complexity to return the result, um, which we had also earlier. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for, for this problem. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.